In this lesson, we're going to take a little utility in PowerPoint that is so useful in many different scenarios. And this is a feature that I use all the time, and that is crop and fill. And we're going to show you three different examples of how crop and fill can be really useful to you and how it can take all of the work out of fitting pictures and images inside of shapes. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then please keep watching. Now, all of the images that I'm going to be using in this lesson, I've downloaded off of pexels.com. And if you've never utilized that website before, then I can highly recommend it. It's a website full of high quality, royalty free images that you can use in your PowerPoint presentations to really liven it up. So I've already downloaded a few images off of that website and they're just currently sitting in my downloads folder ready for me to use. So let's take a look at the first example of how we could utilize crop and fill. Now, maybe I want to have an image that takes up the entire background of my slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump up to insert, go to pictures and this device, and I'm going to select this picture here. It's just an image of a jungle. Now you might come across this problem. If you insert an image, it doesn't take up the entire slide. So we have that white space running down either side. Now, what I see a lot of people doing is they'll click on the image and then they'll use the resize handles to kind of stretch it out and make it fit that background. But what we end up with is a super distorted image and this really does not look great. Now we can do this in a much better way by utilizing crop and fill. So let's control Z a couple of times to take it back. What I would do here is make sure that I'm clicked on the picture, jump up to picture format, and then over in the size group, I'm going to click the crop drop down. Now notice we have a fill option just here. If we click this, we get these little black handles around the outside of the image. So we can now drag these handles out to fill that white space. So we're really just kind of marking out the boundaries of where we want our image to go. Now, once we've done that, we then go back to crop and we choose fill again. And it's going to fill all of that white space with the image, but it's not going to distort the image. What it actually does is it kind of zooms into the image. So you see less of the picture, but in general, this looks a lot better than having distortion. We can then move this around to show specific parts of the picture. And once we're happy with it, we can simply click the top half of the crop button to crop that picture to the size of the slide. So that is the first way that you can use crop and fill. Let's take a look at the second example, and this is more a business related example. Maybe we're giving a PowerPoint presentation and we have a slide where we want to introduce some of the key people in our team. So maybe the CEO, the heads of department, that kind of thing. And I want to have their image in each one of these circles and I don't want it to be distorted. And once again, over the years, I've seen people do all kinds of weird and wonderful things to try and get an image to exactly fit inside a shape. Now, once again, I've downloaded some images into my downloads folder. All we need to do is click on the first shape, right click and go into format shape. We're going to expand the fill option and we're going to choose picture or texture fill. Now it's going to fill it automatically with just the first texture in the list. We don't want that. We're going to go to picture source and insert from a file. And I'm going to pick up my picture of Mark. Let's click insert. And there he is. But notice again, he's distorted. So we need to use our crop and fill trick. So with the image selected, let's jump up to picture format, crop, fill. And now I can move him into position. And I could even grab the handles of the image if I wanted to zoom in a little bit on his face and then reposition him. Once I'm happy, I simply click the top half of the crop button. So really nice and straightforward. So I'm going to do exactly the same to fill the second circle. Now there is another way that you can do this. So if I have an image already in my presentation, so maybe this image is already on a slide. If I want to fill the shape with an image that already exists, I can click on the image, control C to copy it to the clipboard. Then when I go back and click on the circle from that format shape pane, I can say picture or texture fill, but this time my picture source is going to be the clipboard. When I click on it, it's going to insert that image and I just need to do my crop and fill trick. So let's drag her up. Let's make her a little bit bigger so she matches the others. 
drag her over and click on crop. And I have three perfectly filled shapes. So those are a few techniques that you can use in order to perfectly fit an image inside a shape or fill a slide background. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then smash that old like button, give me a little follow, and I will see you in the next video.